I'd like to introduce His Honor Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Thank you very, very much. I'm very, I'm very honored uh, to be here in Watertown, and I'm very uh, honored to endorse Matt. He's a terrific candidate. He's going to be uh, exactly what you need, and of course, you can figure that out better than I can. You understand the needs of this district better than I do. So I'm here really for a different reason. I'm here because this is so important for the country. This election is critical for the United States of America because the United States is going in the wrong direction. And we're going in the wrong direction very, very quickly under Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid and Barack Obama. And we need to correct that, and we can't wait until 2012. As the mayor pointed out, our expenses have gone through the roof in the last 18, 19 months. We've spent enormous amounts of money on stimulus bills that didn't work, a stimulus bill that was supposed to reduce unemployment, increased unemployment, a um, situation in which we see a whole health care program passed, which, for example, uh, Matt's opponent voted for. The first thing he did when he went to Washington is, is make what I regard as a fatal mistake. He voted for the worst health care law that's ever been passed in this country. One that not only is going to make your health care more expensive, it already is, it's going to ruin the quality of health care in America because the government is taking too large a role in deciding your health care. Uh, so we need uh, somebody to correct that. We need, we need uh, a lot of somebodies to correct it, and, Matt is, and he's one of them. He's one of the people who can do that. He's one of the people who can do that because he understands the necessity for balancing budgets because of his background in business. He understands the necessity for reducing government expenditures. He understands the necessity for lower taxes rather than higher taxes so we can be competitive. He understands the necessity for health care and for changing health care from this government-dominated health care to health care that you can decide on. It's about you and your doctors and your decisions about your health. And this whole uh, Pelosi, Obama, Reed, now Owens, health care bill is a bill that's going to take decision-making away from you and put it in the hands of the government bureaucrats in Washington in addition to the fact that they have to hire 15,000 more IRS agents to enforce this new bill, they're going to have to hire 15,000 more people in Washington to figure out whether or not you can have health care. We've got to change it, and we've got to change it now, and we can't wait until 2012. And Matt knows how to do that. He'll vote for what I think most of the people in this district want, not like his opponent who votes for most of the things that people in this district don't want. Most people in this district don't want Obamacare. Most people in this district do not want higher taxes. Most of the people in this district do not want higher government spending. And most of the people in this district would like to see the military supported. And he's part of a political party that constantly and consistently is defunding and hurting our military. So I don't think there's a choice. I wouldn't be here if I thought there was a choice. I think he's a terrific candidate. He's got a great background. He's going to be exactly what um, people here in Watertown need, people in this district need, people in New York need, and in the United States. He'll do something else for which I will be eternally grateful, and so will my wife. We won't have to watch Nancy Pelosi on Sunday morning anymore. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to suggest anything, but they're like this. 93% of the times he voted with her? Gosh, our husband probably doesn't agree with it 93% of the time. 93% of the times he voted with her. And on, the, on, on the big things, the big ones that really hurt us. So if you've got a real chance to send a message. You want to you go there, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat, you want to go there and you want to vote for the things that are good for this district, you'll support them. But you want to go there and destroy our health care and empower a leader in the House of Representatives that wants to destroy our health care and is holding back the recovery of our economy, well, then you've got to get rid of a person like that. And that isn't just a negative thing. You've got a great candidate to replace, to replace him, somebody who understands what makes business grow, what makes jobs grow. And you know what it is? It's the private sector. It really is. It's leaving more money in your hands because you spend it more sensibly than the government does. It's as simple as that. That's the reason for lowering taxes. So I just put on the uh, baseball game, I think. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> well, hopefully, 
the football game. <laughs> so it's my honor to support that dream. for being here, and it's a true honor to have my two favorite mayors, Mayor Graham and Mayor Giuliani here at Doris, so I want to make sure we give them a warm round of applause. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's, and, it, you know, the Mayor Giuliani being here just tells you how important this election is and is how important this election is for right here in the North Country in Watertown. You know, he said, we have a clear choice between myself and my opponent. We have a clear opportunity for people here in the 23rd can cast a vote to know that the, di the direction of the United States will change based upon their vote. It's very clear. Look, we've said it before, we're, we're in a tough race. We're up a little bit, but we're certainly a tough race, and we're deeply appreciative to have uh, Mayor Giuliani come up and do a full uh, campaign swing with us. We were just in Plattsburgh and, and obviously here in Watertown. Because the choice is very clear. In between all that, I just had a debate against Bill, and the choice could not be more stark. He wants to have more government, I mean, across the board. Everything from obviously nationalizing one-sixth of our economy called health care. So he wants to go ahead and have all of us pay for federal uh, financing of elections. He truly believes what Nancy Pelosi believes. That's why, you know, as the mayor said, he's with, him, he's with her 93% of the time. And I always say he's with her 100% when it matters. We have to go in a fundamental different direction. We have to make sure that we keep taxes low and actually provide the fundamental basis now, as a business guy with a proud business record, no matter what bill attacks me on, a proud business record to understand what does it take to make sure you create jobs, preserve jobs, and grow the economy. That's the skills that I bring, and that's why we're running for Congress. So with that said, I want to, again, thank everyone for coming, the mayor and the mayor for the wonderful introduction, and uh, thanks for coming here. Appreciate it. Thank you.